let's build your coding portfolio. Hello everyone and welcome in the next episode. Today I would like to tell you about 11 ideas for projects to create your coding portfolio. It will be the first part of a small series and today we will talk about the very, very beginning projects uh, with HTML and CSS. And in other videos I will tell you about projects for JavaScript and some frameworks. So stay tuned and yeah, let's go! So, the first project idea, very easy for like total, total beginners, is to create a simple page with biography of the person you like, you admire, I don't know, maybe your favorite writer or I don't know, any YouTuber you like, where you will put some images, some text, you will position everything and that's it. The second idea for the project is creating a contact page with form. You should code like a few simple fields, button, and that's it, just to practice. The third idea for the project for beginners to your portfolio is to create a little bit more advanced form, like for example, registration form. You can build a whole page where you will add some nice background and then you can put, I don't know, maybe a card. And on this card you should add some more fields like maybe select field or checkbox. You can also add some nice effect with CSS or animations. Everything depends on you and remember the better project you will create, the better it will look in your portfolio. The fourth idea for the project is to build a product landing page. You can imagine, I don't know, the new model of the mobile phone you would like to buy. And product like this needs a layout where you will describe the product, you will show some images, you can maybe try to build a slider or, I don't know, section with the features of the product. Everything depends on you. Try to make it a little bit longer to have like some easy but bigger projects in your portfolio. Next idea is to create a restaurant menu page. So you can use maybe a table, you can use images for each uh, course you would like to show, you can use pricing, you can use categories. You can use lots of lists, different lists. You can use beautiful graphics in the background. You can add some animations or you can add a button to order. Everything depends on you. It's a project which can look really, really beautiful if you will select the good pictures. So spend some time and do a beautiful thing. Another exciting, eye-catching product which you can do is a page for your favorite fitness club. So, you can create a page like classes timetable. It's a little bit more challenging, you can use more skills here. You can create a pricing tables. You can, I don't know, make them four pricing tables really nice, use any accordion or any, any I don't know, maybe pop-up. Everything depends on you. Uh, you can also, I don't know, make introduction of the personal trainers on the gym or show some pictures. It's a great idea in some of this project to use CSS frameworks. If you will feel uh, comfortable with HTML and CSS, try to use maybe Bootstrap for any of your project or Bulma or any other CSS framework. By the way, I did a video about CSS frameworks, I'll put you a link somewhere here, so you can check out. And if you will learn one of them, you will easily understand how others works. Let's go to the products. Mm -hmm. 
Project number seven. This one will be really useful for you because it's a project or your, of your portfolio page. So it can be useful because you can use it as your resume. You can show your pro projects there. You can write something about you, about your career. You can even show your photo there. And you can host it somewhere in the internet and show it, link to this page in your CV and show it to your future employee maybe. So I think it's a great idea to maybe even use some CSS animations here to train a little bit. If you would like to find out more about CSS animations, I will link in the description an article with the CSS animation cheat sheet I did. So check it out. Another, a little bit different idea for the project is to build a CRM view. It will contain different elements than a normal website, like it very often contains vertical menus, tables, pagination. So you can try different elements here, which are not very common in the other projects I mentioned in, in the previous few minutes. And also, I think it's a great idea to use here something like Grid from any CSS framework like Bootstrap, or you can use the CSS Grid and also about that we wrote an article, so I will put it in the description. Project idea number nine. It's an application landing page. Imagine that you are taking your favorite mobile application or the one you would like to create in the future and you need to tell about this application to people. So you have to create a landing page, which will tell what is this application about, what features does it have, what, how does it look like, and how people can download it. So you can add these two buttons, or maybe you can add QR code, depends on you. Idea number 10, ready? So the next idea is to build an e-commerce. My idea is to build a beauty product e-commerce because it always looks pretty nice. So here you can create like home page with maybe slider, the featured products. You can create product page with the description, some photos and add to cart button. And you can also create a cart with the checkout form. So it's a lot to do here, a lot to show to, to people who would like to see your coding portfolios, so I think it's a great idea to do this one. And the last idea for HTML and CSS products for your portfolio I have today is to build a digital product e-commerce. So my idea is to build a book online store where you can create the main page, the product page as previously, and you can create the download page where people can get their product after they checked out. I hope you like all these 11 ideas and you will build some of them. Of course, remember to keep your projects in GitHub to create a repository there and push all your proje projects because you can grow them with the future ideas I will tell you about. You can add JavaScript features, you can use this code in the framework maybe. We will see. And this is the part one. We are talking today about the most basic HTML and CSS projects. And in the next video, I will tell you about the ideas for JavaScript projects. So stay with us and wait for the next video. I hope you like it. You can also share your ideas in the comments. I will be really happy to read them. And if you like it, remember about thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video about JavaScript projects. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, it's me again. I forgot about one more thing. I will place the link with article about the same topic I spoke in this video, but there you can find some resources like free layouts, free inspiration for building some layouts and free photos you can use in your projects. 
So check it out. Bye.